Hi, and thanks for joining us. Today you will learn how to automatically sync the tasks you create from Todoist directly into a Notion database page of your choice. We'll walk you through the entire workflow building process, and along the way you will learn some key functionality of NA10. If this sounds interesting to you, then stick around. You can find the link to this exact workflow in the description below. Without further ado, let's start workflow building. Let's begin by adding a trigger node to our workflow. Since we want to get data out of Todoist, let's search for a Todoist trigger node. As of recording this video, Todoist doesn't actually have any trigger nodes, but that won't be a problem for us. We can get the data through another method called polling using the schedule trigger node and a Todoist node. Let's set the trigger node to run for every 30 seconds. And then let's hook up the new node. Inside this node, we can now authenticate and configure. Authenticating is simple. Just pick from your existing credentials or create a new one. You can choose between OAuth 2, the simplest option for NA10 cloud users, or using an API key, which you can find directly in your Todoist account. We'll choose to authenticate using OAuth 2. Back to the main page, let's actually start configuring our node. We will set the node to get many tasks and filter by a label of our choice. Since we already created a new label called send to notion, we'll use this to trigger our workflow. Awesome. We have just set up a simple poll for the tasks in our Todoist account. Maybe this is worth a like and a sub. Now let's create a task in our Todoist account with the send to notion tag. The next time we run the workflow, we'll get an output in the Todoist node. Now that we have all the task data from Todoist, let's add a Notion node. Select create a database page, and again select a credential or create a new one for Notion. Let's create a new one real quick. We will call it NA10 Demo 3 and submit. Let's show the secret and copy and paste that into our NA10 account. Let's also rename this to NA10 Demo 3. Hit save and let's go back to the main page. We can keep the resource and operation the exact same and select the Notion database to send your task into. If you can't see your database page in this result, ensure that you have given your Notion integration permissions to view the page. At this point, you can choose to customize the way you'd like to format the data that eventually gets sent to Notion. We choose to add a column for the Todoist task ID. Notice that we do get a bad request error at this point. The reason is that Notion requires us to provide the ID as a number rather than a string which is what we currently do. To fix this, we can simply enclose the variable with pass int, turning our string into a number type. At this point, you have successfully integrated Todoist with Notion. But if you turn this on right now, you might realize that your workflow creates a new Notion page every 30 seconds. This is because we get all the tasks with a label even after we have processed them. So we have to add one more Todoist node to fix that. Let's select update a task. And from Todoist two nodes back, let's map in the task ID. Then we can update the label name to another label called sent so that this particular task won't get picked up anymore by the first Todoist node. Let's also map in the description field with the notion link whilst also preserving the old description on the task if there is one. Finally, let's update the names of each node and save the workflow. Well done. You have just successfully created your integration between Todoist and Notion. Now let's see this in action. When you first create a Todoist task without a tag, NADN will correctly stop at the polling stage. When you add the special tag to an existing task, NADN will pick this up within 30 seconds and create a Notion page. Notice that your original Todoist task gets updated with the sent tag and a dedicated Notion link, while also preserving the description. 
And that's it. I hope you've learned something new from this video. Leave a like if you want more content like this and let us know what other videos you'd like to see in the comments section below. If you're particularly inclined, check out some of our other videos on the channel.